Okay, it's time for another pre-lab. I'm gonna walk you through an activity and hopefully this makes it make more sense and easy to do when you're in class. So this is the one that I'm working with today, okay? Uh, so we're doing matter modeling, okay? So you need uh, Play-Doh, you're gonna need a container, Play-Doh that we have prepared for you. You're gonna need this worksheet. And then you can use other resources if you want to so your notes, uh, internet, textbook, um, the video that I made right here, okay, or a different one. So you're going to get a container of Play-Doh. That's what it says first. Um, use the Play-Doh to model the various types of matter. So here's what you're going to notice when you look at your Play-Doh. You are going to have, so what I'm going to do first is just take out what I have, okay, because you're going to have four colors. So you can see I have um, orange, green, and then I have two more colors in here. So I'll take those out. I have pink and this like red, I guess. Okay, so I am going to um, use those colors to make my models. So um, I can work with my table partner, but I'm working alone, so I'm gonna do it by myself. So it says, um, use the Play-Doh to model the various types of matter, write down the color you use for each atom. Okay, so first it says monatomic element. I need, I need to model five atoms of Na. So I'm gonna pick orange. So I'm gonna take my pen and for Na, I am going to write down orange. Okay, so see what I did right there? All right, I wrote down orange. Now I'm going to model five atoms of Na. And now I'm going to flip the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I am right here. I just wrote orange. And I know it's hard for you to read, but uh, you can see the location of the sheet. So I'm right here. I'm going to model five atoms of Na. And it's a monatomic, so that means it's one single atom. So five atoms of Na. Now, what you should realize is they should be um, roughly the same size. Okay, I know you're working with Play-Doh, so it's hard to get the sizes exactly perfect. But one should not be giant, and one should not be tiny because it's the same element. So they're going to have the same um, mass, atomic mass. Okay, so there we go. There are my five um, atoms of Na for a monatomic element. Okay, there we go. Now, next one is diatomic, and I'm going to model five molecules of Cl2. So I am going to pick pink, I'm going to write down pink, and then I'm going to model diatomic. Well, diatomic means there are two atoms of the same element bonded together. Okay, now I don't want you to worry about relative size compared to Na, that's not important. Um, all that's going to be important is you need to model it diatomic. See, look at that. So that's how Cl um, exists as a diatomic molecule, okay? So diatomic, there we go. And I need to model five of them. So we're just representing diatomic molecules of chlorine. So Cl2 is how the formula is written. And again, um, I'm keeping my size roughly the same. Hey, um, I'm not going to take off for small variations in size, but if your models are wildly different in size for the same element, that presents a problem. It should be relatively close. So there we go. So you can see right here, my five molecules of Cl2. Notice I didn't call it atoms anymore because I have two atoms bonded together. So in this case for Cl2, that makes a molecule. And I'm right here and I'm gonna do a binary compound. Okay, binary means two, two. So I'm gonna model five molecules of CO2. So I need to pick a color for, so I'm gonna pick green for carbon and red for oxygen. Okay, so I know I'm gonna need um, five carbons. So I'll just roll out really quickly, five carbons. All right, so because I'm modeling five molecules of CO2, and in CO2, there's one carbon. So I just need five of, um, that one was a little bit too large. There we go. All right, so five of the carbons. Now it's CO2. So that means each one, each carbon, has two oxygens attached to it. So like this. 
Okay, so then I'm going to make two more and attach them to this carbon. Okay, CO2. So one carbon and two oxygens in uh, each molecule. So one carbon, two oxygen in each molecule, CO2. Okay, one carbon, two oxygen in each molecule, CO2. Oops. All right, there we go. So that's five molecules of CO2. Okay, ternary. My ternary compound, so that will be corrected on your sheet, ternary compound, is NaOH. So um, for Na, I'll use orange, and I don't have to use the same colors again. I just am in this case. For O, I will use red, but hydrogen, uh, I need another color, so I will use green. So again, I need to model five formula units. Now, may say, why didn't you call it molecules? Well, in this case, this is um, an ionic attraction between Na and OH. So it's called a formula unit. We haven't learned that yet. So just trust when I say it's called a formula unit, okay? Um, you wouldn't be expected to remember that yet. But since it's ionic bonding, it's not gonna be a molecule. Molecule is only for covalent bonding. But again, that's jumping ahead a few units. So you don't need to remember that now. So I need five NAs, okay? I also need five Os. So I need my five red O's. One, two, three, four, five. And then I need five green H's because it's N-A means one N-A. O means one O. And H means one H. So each formula unit of NaOH has one atom of Na, which is sodium, one atom of O, which is oxygen, and one atom of H, which is hydrogen. Okay, now in reality, the oxygen and the hydrogen are going to be bonded together in an OH, and then that is going to be attracted to the Na. Okay, um, so the O and the H are um, covalently bonded, and then they're attracted uh, to the Na. So the O and the H covalently bonded and then attracted to the Na. So the O and the H covalently bonded, attracted to the Na. The O and the H covalently bonded and attracted to the Na. All right, there we go. So I have my five formula units of my ternary compound, NaOH. So just really quickly review, I have a monatomic element, single atoms. I have a diatomic element, two atoms of the same exact element bonded together. I have five molecules of CO2, one carbon, two oxygens. And then I have five formula units of NaOH, one Na, one O, one H. Okay, so then when you're doing this assignment right here at this point, you're gonna take a picture. Now, if you are doing the assignment um, outside of class because you missed class, uh, then you are just going to draw the models instead of building them with Play-Doh, okay? What I'm doing is moving these aside, okay? Instead of repacking these up, I need to make some models on the back so I might be able to just reuse these little balls that I made so I don't have to make new ones. So now I'm gonna look at the back of the paper, okay? And at the top right here, let's do this first. Okay, so I need um, a homogeneous mixture. So I need 5-HE and 5-O2. So I already have these, right? Those are diatomic. O2 is diatomic. Well, that was Cl last time, but that's fine. I can use that for my O2. And then my single atoms, okay, I already had those, okay? So let's um, spread them out. What homogeneous means okay, is that the um, particles in the mixture are spread evenly. Okay, so there's not going to be a clump. So those um, five molecules of O2 and those five atoms 
of HE are going to be spread relatively evenly, okay? So it's a little hard in this space. You kind of just do what you can, um, but they're going to be spread relatively um, evenly, okay? Let me just move this, okay. So again, relatively um, evenly, and then this was orange. Okay. Now I need a heterogeneous mixture, and I'm going to use some of these ones that I have here so that I don't have to roll new ones, but I need, again, O2. So this time I'm going to pull um, these ones that I have, make five O2s, but this time it's going to be red. So I had this water molecule, so I'm just pulling water. I'm pulling the um, oxygens off the water, and this time they're actually just being oxygen. So in this model, the oxygen is red, okay? And then helium, I will use um, the green that I have, okay? So that is green. So again, you can see, I don't have to keep the colors consistent. And now this says heterogeneous. And what heterogeneous means, is they're not spread evenly, okay? So they're going to be kind of clustered. So um, homogeneous means they're evenly distributed. And heterogeneous means they're, they're not evenly distributed. Okay, so you can see I have a clump here, a clump over here. Okay, heterogeneous, they're not spread evenly. Okay, and then now it says that here, you're going to do two practice questions. Choose two of these substances. You see right here, these are the substances you are picking from right here. Choose two different ones. So you could choose the first two, the last two, whichever two you want. <clears throat> model one in practice one box. Model the second one in the practice two box. At the bottom of each box, write the symbol for each element and the color you, you use to represent that element. So if you chose AR, for example, you would write, I chose AR. And then for the symbols, I only have one. So AR and then whatever color you pick. If you picked MgCl2, for example, you would write that, and then for Mg, you would write the color you chose, and for Cl, you would write the color you chose. Okay. I am not going to do this part because this is the assessment. Do you get it? Can you now do it without that modeling? And then you have a question down here at the bottom to answer, and then you would take a picture with all of this completed. Okay, now this up here, remember, for homogeneous means they're evenly distributed. For heterogeneous, they are not evenly distributed, okay? So then what I need to do when I'm finished is take all of those colors I had. So I had some other greens over here. So I'm going to take all of the greens, uh, put them back together, put the green uh, back in the Play-Doh container. Pink, take all the pinks I have. I put all the pinks back together. Red, take all the reds I have. I have some over here that I set aside. Okay, take all of those, put them back together. And then take my last color that I have is orange. Take all the orange, put those back together and put them here. Okay, and that is it, okay. So again, I'm just going to show you really quickly what this sheet looks like here. So you can see right here, I put, if you pick this one, MG, and then right here would be the color. CL right here would be the color. Over here, AR. You get to pick from these, any two that you want, okay? Um, and then not forgetting to answer these questions down here. Remember, if you are absent and you aren't able to use the Play-Doh, instead of using Play-Doh, you're going to draw your models using different colors, okay? And then that is it for the completion of this um, activity, okay? Hope that makes sense.